Hi guys. So you, as you might have known, I got, for apparently no reason, they claim that I uh, tried or like threatened to crack the cheat and that I sold my account to Legacy, which is, uh, Legacy's my friend, uh, which is not true and I'm here today to disprove that because that didn't happen. And I'm going to give as much um, evidence from me as I can. I can't give a whole lot of evidence because I didn't do it and I can't really give evidence of something I didn't do but I'm gonna give the, all the evidence that I can like showing my PayPal transactions etc etc so how it all started is Lbox beta got a uh, an update of getting custom ad teams and I wanted to test it against just Lbox and stuff and it went pretty well and then I wanted to test it against Nocore but Legacy he didn't have Nocore so I just gave him my loader so we could test it against Lbox and see just to fuck around I guess and we were also testing in a cash roll and stuff and then we were against a Nocore developer called Amy but he was abusing Force Ignore on Nocore and I even sent here that's why I sent a demo to uh, Alan Budgie which he was gonna forward to V9 for me because he's like close to him and stuff so he's gonna like there's gonna be a greater chance for a response because we all know V9 doesn't respond to people but if you go look here we were streaming this so that's why I outlined because like outline was an Amy's team on the enemy team and it was on my stream as well so he actually like suggested me to report it to V9 because here as you can see on the website here if there are a using force ignore and not letting you aim intentionally killing you make sure to record a demo and send it to me so we did just that i sent a demo which uh alan was gonna uh forward to v9 which he did and then i get banned same day it was a new anti updates and here v9 basically responded with he can pretty much read the tos and see himself he did a bunch of stuff in the last drop his report of reselling his account so of course, because Legacy was using my loader, it said uh, NCU Snowy on Legacy, and Amy saw that. I guess some people thought that uh, I sold my account to Legacy just because he was using it for demonstrative purposes. Okay, and then here also, um, here, I get to Legacy with this an HVH, I have it on stream. And then also V9 said, plus in that stream he threatened to crack the cheat. I threatened to fucking crack the cheat on stream. Are you fucking kidding? If I wanted to crack your cheat, I wouldn't be public about it. But anyway, okay, and uh, I made a joke about it, that's not really threatening, but if you say so? Anyway, and I'm always trying to avoid bans, but in this case he actually got reported to me multiple times, so yeah. Also, I, that's just straight up bullshit. He's like so toxic, and then uh, here he didn't respond. And then uh, also here, Legacy said, I love no and he ever used a bite from him. It's a fucking joke, okay? I'm sorry that you fucking take jokes out of context so much. It's a joke. He's not gonna fucking say he'll buy my milk or if you're not supposed to. That would be <laughs> Also, I want to talk about this because they've been saying that I didn't contact them because I haven't directly, no. But here, I, I contact Vlad directly. I send him a message in the PayPal transactions and he blocks me. Hey, I have a screenshot here of Allison claiming that I'm, I'm witch hunting him because uh, people are spamming his comment section on, on Steam because uh, Allison was just being a retard on stream. I didn't even tell people to like mass comment. People just started mass commenting on his profile. He's like claiming that I sold it to Legacy and that I did a bunch of other stuff and I didn't want to ban him, my asshole dude. You didn't want to ban me. If you ban me, you won't just ignore me and block me straight after I fucking wanted to talk to you. I wanted to talk to you and then you block me. If you didn't want to ban me, you'd not block me and not fucking want to ignore this. Like, it's pretty pathetic. You're a fucking company. NCL is technically a company. It's registered as a company. And you're this unprofessional? That's fucked up. If you're treating your customers like this, this is fucked up. Also, Bolotov got like almost the same kind of treatment like this. What up? Yo, bro, bro. 
that's the same thing that happened to me. Oh really? my God. Yes. Really? What? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Let me explain. Uh, so cool. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so the loader <laughs> kept... So, the loader kept uh, auto playing me because... It's got... Because it was God tier anti-debugging system. Mm-hmm. Uh, so eventually he unburned me, so he unburned me several times. And then eventually it got suspicious to him. I also lost my password, and he, he just blocked me. And yeah, he, yeah. Uh, he thinks, he thinks I've tried to crack his hack, but I don't know shit about that stuff, and I've sucked his dick since 20, since 2016, like 2015. Bro, what? Did you get back from no, insincere? Bro, what? This, dude, this fucking shit creator, bro. The learning! Yeah, basically, fucking Bogotov has been, like, even beta testing local in, like, 2015 and such. And fucking, he gets, he gets shit for it. V9 just shits on him as well. For no apparent fucking reason. It's just so fucking pathetic. I don't get how you can be this fucked. This unprofessional. Why? That, you're being so toxic to just a, a kid at, like asking where the fucking update is. So yeah, that's just everything I have for now. My suggestion is right now to just like not buy no core. If if you have a mailbox or you don't have any cheat already, just stick with a mailbox. It's it's the best. Um, no core like it's it's not worth it if the fucking if the support is gonna be this bad, I'm gonna stop promoting milk on my channel, and uh, I hope all of you can uh, can figure stuff out. That's it for me. Have a good night.